Hello there beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to On How channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you, so if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop online a comment, I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back, and you already know, if you have any questions, make sure to drop online a comment too, I will be happy to make a video for you as well, and you should be a witness to that, because I made over a, a, a hundred videos in Shopify customization. They were mostly requests from subscribers and some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. Just a like button, that's all I'm asking. Even though if you are interested in Shopify customization, you want to be an expert, you want to know how to do anything yourself without hiring a developer and so on, why not subscribe to the channel? It's completely free. I don't sell any courses, never will. I don't have any paid memberships or anything like that. All the content, including the code I do create, I do share it completely free on the channel. You just have to skip around some ads, but that's the case for most of the videos on YouTube, right? So it's a win-win situation. But I'll let you choose and decide, of course. Maybe you don't like me. That's fine. I'm just joking. Anyway, in this video, which is a request again, how to add an infinite scroll on the collection page on your Shopify store. And this is was requested actually like a week ago or something. But I have the schedule is full, many requests I have to do because this channel is actually surviving by requests. More requests equals more videos, no request equals no videos. So I got the request like a week ago, but I have the schedule already full, so I have to make previous requests to that. And now it's the turn for infinite scroll on the collection page for your Shopify store. And that's exactly what I want to show you in this video by using our own custom code without using any apps or anything like that. And without any more talking, Let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is the Shopify dashboard, and this is the team I would do demonstration uh, on it in the video, and all the tricks I do demonstration in the video on down team. But if I scroll down in here, I have every other free teams, which is the uh, the most used ones, uh, they sense, refer, spotlight, and trade. And if you are wondering why is that, because I do actually try the tricks on my channel, I do post in the videos behind the scenes on all of these teams. I only do demonstration on down team, so I don't bolt people. <laughs> but behind the scenes, I do actually try it in each one of these. So even if you're not using down team, because you're gonna see me on the video doing it on down team, but I'm just here to give you a peace of mind first. So even if you're not using down team, you're using one of these, it should work for you just fine. And even if it didn't, drop me a comment. I will be happy to help you out, but I'm sure it will. Otherwise, I wouldn't see it, right? And again, for the second time, with that out of the way, Let's just get to it and show you how to add the infinite scroll on your Shopify store. So this is the Shopify store we will do the trick on. And if anything you see on the Shopify store right here, all the things you see here, I did them in tutorials. So if you saw something on the Shopify store that you think it looks good and you want to implement it on your Shopify store, just check out the channel. You will already post, see that video already posted. Because once you see all the features in here, that means I did them in the previous videos. So no worries. As I said in this video, I will show you how to add the infinite scroll on collection page. So let's just check out or access some collection page. So let's just go categories. Oh yeah, by the way, if you are interested in adding the icon on the uh, drop down menu, on the each icon with the each menu, check out the channel, I already post that video. So let's just click on add accessory, tech accessories, sorry. So let's just check out this one. This one doesn't have infinite scroll. So I have to navigate again to the page number two in order to see the other check out, uh, the other products. So what if I want to add infinite scroll, which is uh, just I just have to scroll down. It will show me the other products. And I just have to scroll down again for the second time and it will show me it will load the other products. So keep in mind that this trick or this code will not preload the products cards before the customer or the visitor scrolls down. It will not do that because that will slow down the Shopify store. It will keep them not loaded until the customer scrolls down, then it will load the products in the collection page. I just have to say that in the beginning. So as I said, we will keep this page open, do the trick and come back and see if it will work or not. So let's just keep this page open. The first thing you're going to do is, as always, access Shopify dashboard. Then click on the three dots on the left of customize and click on edit code. And the next thing you're going to do is we need to add an, a new snippet, a new snippet. If you see here folders at the last page here, I mean the, uh, the bottom, you will see uh, sections snippets. Click on snippets, then click on add new snippet. And it will show you this prompt right here where you're gonna tell you to name the snippet, obviously. And if you are wondering what we're gonna name it is, infinite scroll because that's what we're gonna do so make sure to type in infinite 
then dash scroll just like this infinite dash scroll then click on done and after that you will see a completely uh, empty file so obviously you need some code in here in order to add the function and to get that code you need to hire a developer pay him wait 24 hours get back to you i'm just joking scroll down the description box and you will see a link name it as code then simply click on it like this and you will see this code like right here it's pretty long code but no worries simply click on raw option in here simply click on it and it will uh, show you the code in a completely blank page now you just have to click on on your keyboard i mean click on if you are windows click on Control a i'm on mac i'm going to click on command a and it will highlight the whole code it will select the whole code sorry then right click and copy after you did copy the code get back to the code editor and simply paste it in the new snippet that we did create which is infinite dash scroll as you can see after you did paste in the code click on the save button right here and hold on we didn't finish yet because we need to add another thing and that thing will be in main dash collection dash product dash grid complicated right <laughs> simply use the search bar right here at the top left corner then type in main dash collection dash product dash grid just like you see and you will see this file right here called main dash collection dash product dash grid dot liquid this one right here and you will see it on the screen right now in front of me so simply click on this file right here bunch of code in here but in here we need to find the specific section again where we need to paste in some special code and in order to find that section we're gonna use the search bar and if you are wondering how to get the search bar simply click on the code just like you want to write something and don't don't write anything and again on your keyboard click on command f this time if you are windows sorry uh, click on Control F. I'm on Mac. I'm going to click on Command F and it will show me this prompt right here at the bottom of the page. And in here, we need to paste in the thing we are looking for, which is and paginate, paginate, and paginate. You will see it on the screen in front of me, as always. After that, after you click and uh, type in, sorry, and paginate, click on Enter and it will highlight the code on the screen, as you can see. So this is the, uh, the section that we need to find. So let me close this search bar right here. And let me zoom in on it so you can see it clearly. And paginate, as you can see. And there are some percentage icons in here. So we need to paste in some code above and before and paginate. I repeat, before and above and paginate. And there is no space in order to create that space. Click front of the last thing before end paginate and hit enter on your keyboard. That was simple, right? Because as I said, we need to pass in some code. And in order to get that code, you need again to hire a developer, blah, blah, blah. Scroll down the description box and you will see a link named as code number two. I repeat, code number two. Click on it and you will see this one line of code or one word. Or, no, three lines, four lines, five lines. Oh my God. Okay, okay, okay. So we need <laughs> this code right here. So select this code and by the way it says in text you reach the end and if you use your brain a little bit you already know what this is so <laughs> once the customer keeps scrolling like this and the product cards will keep loading 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 there is uh, a limit there is like a specific number of products you don't have a limited product so once all the products are loaded it's gonna show this message right here it says you reach the end you can remove this make it empty if you don't want to show any message or you, you can actually edit this you can edit this to any word you want or any text you want in my case i'm going to keep it like this just for demonstration so select the whole thing make sure to select the closing bracket as well right click and copy then get back in here paste it again before and paginate and above and paginate paste it in here then we're going to click on save button after a couple of seconds, we will get back in here, reload the page and see if that will work or not. And it will work. Just a spoiler. <laughs> so now if we scroll down a little bit, it's loading. Look, it's loading more products. Once I scroll down, it loads more products. It loads them all. It says you reach the end. There is no more option 
to click on the second page or the third page and four as you can see so let me show you that again for the people that will say it's not working okay let me scroll down it's loading so it loads the product as I scroll down not preloading the product which will affect the speed of your Shopify store and again that's how you add the infinite scroll on your Shopify collection page easily with just a custom code if you have any questions make sure to jump on below but for now I think my job is done so thanks for watching catch you on the next one